Uh, I Good morning. Got... How's it going? How are you? This is an early morning for me. Late night and an early morning. <laughs> Feeling good though. Yeah. Feeling good. Track looks insane, but too bad we're doing enduro. <laughs> we're gonna have to find some logs. We come to a perfectly prepped track, and we gotta go ride on logs. Yeah, we just gotta go hop the hay bales. Yeah, just get to ride on logs. I'm gonna go ride on the track. These things are kind of fresh. They're looking good. I hope AJ is the guy. They put these on for AJ. He's going full enduro today. I don't think AJ's ever ridden with a big tank. It's gonna yeah. be a different center of gravity for him. This is there. good, yeah. Different center, big tank. How does it? How does it feel? So wait, is he sticking me with the 450? Which yeah. one's which? Is there a? Two I can't ride around with these things. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> how does it? How does it feel that the whole team kind of wants you to do bad today? Well, like, that's <laughs> like, a, li <laughs> like a little bit. That's, well, that's not true. I wouldn't see you do good. You know my biggest struggle when I went riding in the woods, I couldn't figure out how wide my bars were. So maybe it's good that I have these because I was. I was hitting trees. Yeah, this one looks a Dr. Driver Damien is with this bike. Did we not break the bike? Are you serious right now? What do you want me to say? No train starts now. I just talked to him. Something like that, yeah. Step one of becoming an enduro rider is the enduro unload. But AJ doesn't know it yet, so I'm going to teach him. <laughs> That's step one. The faster you go, the easier it is. What do you got? This is a 250. Oh, I got 350s. But gas, gas, so yeah, same thing. What do you think? You riding some woods today, Mitchell, or what? So. We're gonna jump some logs, ride over some rocks, do some cool stuff. What do you think of the 18 inch rear wheel? You ever tried one? No, I haven't. It looks pretty beefy. Extra, extra squish. Bigger sidewall. Is that like max traction or what? I think this thing here, this is actually a soft compound tire, so. This is, if we're if we're gonna get into it today, whoever's on this bike has definitely got the advantage. I'll probably loop it out. It's 450, so catch yeah. a rock and just backflip. Yeah. So that's the plan. Hopefully they got spare fenders on uh, standby today, because I, I think somebody's gonna loop out. Hopefully, I hope yeah. somebody loops we out. We need to for content. It's not it's <laughs> not a good it's not a good enduro day if somebody doesn't loop out or break a rear fender sure. off <laughs> or break a bone or something. <laughs> Maybe not bone. Yeah, let's not, we'll let's just not stick to rear fenders today. I just jinxed myself. I'm probably gonna <laughs> break my arm or something. <laughs> he's like, hasn't even hit the trails yet, and he's already hoping for just a broken bone. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's already calling, claiming broken bones. Uh, and kind of just lean back into it, out, and then just loop. push away with your feet. Just, just, no, just take a deep breath and go. No, Dude, no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> can I see you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. And you can safely it do that on this. It just hey, you're not that high. <laughs> I mean, you can even just go, Look, you can go just slow let go. and just put your feet underneath here and just like walk it. And then just let go. No, we'll do it the down. fast way. <laughs> Easy that. Alright, load it back up. <laughs> no, yeah, load it back up. <laughs> Redo no it. I'll try. Well, maybe am I going to have this attitude all day long? But yeah. that's scary. Don't be a wuss. Uh, we'll see you how do, you're feeling after a short video. Rolling, getting <laughs> stuck in a situation where I'm rolling backwards is like my worst nightmare. Yeah, I try not. Does that happen a lot? I mean, not on purpose. Yeah, right. But <laughs> you, do you end up in those situations a lot where you're just like, oh, 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 just yeah. going backwards? Yeah, I mean, definitely. <sighs> and I can't even do it on that. Anybody else want to try? It's like a foot tall. <laughs> I don't want my bike to be the guinea pig. Okay, so I get to come out and hang out. Bring you guys some bikes to play with. So, well, thank you. You got a 450 and a 250. Perfect. And what, so, XCW? XCF. Yep. XCF. So what's different? You got a big tank. Yeah, you got a big tank. <laughs> yep. Um, you get your basically your four-stroke enduro woods bike, right? Um, do you ride with 110s? Yeah, 18-inch rear wheel. Yeah, and they are tubes, by the way. Okay, okay. Yeah, those are tubes on all four. So. Oh, and that's an 18 rear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's 18. So this is what you would use then, 110? Yeah, 110, 118. And that doesn't change? That's pretty standard? Pretty standard, yeah. Oh, okay. More tire squish, like soaks up like present. the roots and the rocks and stuff. And if we have, since we have yeah. tubes, what do you run for pressure? So he ordered a few sets, um, I think, but they get... Still try to get it low? Yeah, I mean, the softer the better. The tech, more technical it is, you want your pressure, the harder the trail gets, the softer the pressure. Just more traction. And, this tire is crazy. This one's good. This is actually like a gummy compound too. Like it's kind of actually got like some soft knobs on it. Okay. Wow. Is this not like one of the nicest bikes? I don't know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> we've already found a transfer. We found what we hit. We've only done two jumps on the track and we're already finding jumps that aren't supposed to be on the track. <laughs> I mean, it's doable. It's got a long landing. You're the moto guy. Well, yeah, I know. If I, on my bike, I'd, <laughs> I'd do it in a heartbeat, but... <laughs> That one doesn't make sense. Turn your goggles around. Your yeah. goggles are on the wrong way. Is that the issue? That's why. What do I have to do? One of these? Yeah. And then I can do it? That might help. I've seen that work before. Hey Moto Academy, we have an apparel drop. It's official. We've got, can't even count. So many designs, it's unbelievable. Check them out. We got the dirt bikes design. Typed in crappy dirt bike drawing on chat GPT and this is what it spat out. Pretty cool. Sizes all the way from youth, all the way up to, I hope, triple XL or else driver Jamie's gonna kill me. Go to tour.themotoacademy.com and grab these. We're gonna leave them on the site for only a few weeks, but you order them now, get them in time for Christmas. We're gonna toss in signed jerseys with a whole bunch of different orders. So put in an order, you might get a signed jersey. This is the graphic tee with the straight rhythm bike on it. This one's pretty cool. This is a fan favorite. I don't say so myself. This one might be my favorite. Super cool color, really high-end material. The most expensive materials we could get, of course, because who wants high profit margins? Not us at the Moto Academy, but that's okay. This one's awesome. This is Alley Cat's favorite. On the back, centered in creating better human beings. Love that, super cool with the design on the chest on the front. And we got crew next because we live in Connecticut now and it's cold, this thing's heavy. Uh, brand new crew neck, little design in the front, clean, simple, just high-end stuff and a wrinkled crew neck. So if you uh, order now, you can get a wrinkled crew neck, unbelievable. But yeah, these are the best designs we've ever done by far. Go on the website, check them out. High-end stuff, they're gonna be on the site for only a couple of weeks and then they're gone forever. So go check it out, tour.themotoacademy.com. Click into that shop cap. So here's the first obstacle. Does my team have any faith in me? Not a chance in hell. No? Do it. You got it. Oh, Tony thinks I can. Yeah. You got it. Really? Just go like fifth gear. You got the skid plate and the guards. And the body positioning. First try. <laughs> okay, so all right, walk walk me through this. This looks extremely difficult. So Here. this is a little bit harder because there's a huge hole, and you have to actually make you have to hit it with enough speed that you can pop over the hole. So this one is technical. <laughs> I'll get up onto the rear tire and then hop the rear tire to the off of the gas. almost it. I missed the rear brake. It's amazing how much control you have, like even when you completely mess up. <laughs> like you yeah. made that look pretty graceful, right? Yeah. That could have been that bad. <laughs> that could have been, been really bad. bad.
Okay, I tell you what, the skid plate works. Yeah. Like I just slid straight into the thing. <laughs> I already, within five minutes, have so much respect. Okay. The balance is it there. It would just you can take tell. me so long to learn. Front up, and you want it low enough where <laughs> it, like it kind of through the goggles pushes into it. <laughs> the, goggles. <laughs> the goggles make. I'm this. trying to go full character. I mean, that's horrifying. Even when I like you mess up or have to turn around, you do it so easy and quick, and I'm like fumbling around. That's the thing. Like I always laugh at the Supercross dudes because I see them get like stuck off the track. Like Anderson got stuck on that hay bale, and, and they it, at one Supercross, and he was like. <laughs> and we were like, I was with all my enduro friends, and they're like, "What's he doing? Like, we would have been oh, out of that, dude. We would have been out of that in like a second. It was so funny. He was literally just stuck on the skid plate. It was hilarious. And I was like, dude, if he had one log in his whole life, he wouldn't have been stuck for thirty seconds. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, the only experience I have is riding single track with people that can go fast in the single track. But that, what? So, what type of skills? That's hard enduro. I would say that's more like trialsy, hard enduro style stuff. Trials like but like on a big bike so it's way harder like on a trials bike i could see you probably getting close to be able to stuff the front tire and holding it there but on a big bike the tire pressure is like the bike's so heavy and the tire pressure is so hard so it doesn't balance as good and stuff It. It's the body positioning. Yeah, that was so scary. <laughs> that was what? Uh, Jackson, how much enduro experience do you have? Couple two three, two tree. I've ridden some woods in Saskatchewan. Okay, he's ridden woods in Saskatchewan, <laughs> which sounds like a made-up place. So hopefully uh, they don't get hurt. <laughs> okay, pretty good first try. Really good, good finesse. I don't know if I can see that. Oh, God. That was a full-on wheelie. Mitch has got the whis whiskey taxi. Yeah, that's. A little hairy. You the first blip, touched it, and then blipped it again and got it to that oh. rear tire. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> good thing, good thing that guy's good on a moto drag. Yep. <laughs> Look at him, he's covered in brass. Hey! Sitting or standing? Standing, preferably. Okay, okay. or the front brake. <laughs> yeah. And you drove through a huge mud puddle right before you hit the wall. <laughs>
I say forget the clutch, just give it gas. <laughs> Yeah, are you good? Okay, we did it. I am now a professional enduro rider. Thank you. Thank you. Made it. Welcome. Uh, actually, Jackson's a professional enduro rider. Somehow, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it was fun. We had a whole master class. Thank you, Spencer. Uh, then tomorrow's class. So Moto Academy is a officially off road with it. We're officially off road with it. Okay. See you guys next week.